Hello everyone, NASCAR stuff here in today. This is gonna be my part two about Texas. I'm gonna go ahead and head downstairs to both of the second lower decks. The decks. Let me go down here. Eh. Eh. Okay, right. So actually I just came out where the kitchen is. So this is where the actual for real galley is, and this is where all the crew ate and stuff like that. So here's the galley and I'll be creeped out of the fence. Alright, so it's pretty loud down here. But here's the cafeteria, aka known as the galley. And boy, it's really one need here. So they have some fake food, this is where all the food would be. Let me go ahead and turn my thing down a little bit because I don't need that much. Alright, so there's a bunch of food and stuff, a bunch of food cans. This is where they would fix all the food at for the whole entire crew. There's some cabinets for each of the crew members. Ignore that, and I'm the only one down here. So this was the drying room right here. This is like where they would. This is the laundry room, basically. So this was like where they would do their laundry stuff. And unfortunately, it's like we can't go downstairs because of the flooding rats. Oh man, there's like so much other stuff down here. That was cool, but oh well. And down here. Right here, I believe, I don't know what this is. The sign is gone. I be this is, I believe, the mechanics room. That was one of the mechanics rooms. And here is the scullery. This is like where they keep all their dirty dishes here, and all their dishes and stuff right here. This is like all the trays and cups and all that would go. Over here. Man, they're keeping a lot of this up. Wow. That's the medical. I'll, be, I'll go around the other side. Hold on. Man, this is crazy. Man. There's like, the heck? This is a mail room, I believe. But yeah, this is a mail room right here. And this is the first lieutenant's office. Basically, this is where all the lieutenants, this is where they did all their work and stuff. All in there. And they also do have the mail in there. That was pretty cool. And here, this is actually where all the officers were at. So all the officers this were in, this is where they were. And I'm hearing very creepy noises. They mean to me think that this is actually haunted. And down there is all the engine room and stuff like that. So, really I thought there was more down here. That's weird. I think because of the leak they found in June. So they found a leak in June. So, they had to close a lot of this off. Unfortunately. So I'm gonna make my way back towards over here. I'm telling you, I'm hearing noises that I, and I'm not seeing anyone, so I'm getting kind of creeped out by this, to be honest. So I'm thinking to think this is haunted. And there's a very creepy room in there with the red light, which that is actually the restroom. Uh, so I'm gonna go over here now, where I believe the armory is, where they keep kept all the guns and stuff like that. Right here. Yeah, this is the armory. Basically, what this was that they kept all the guns and stuff in here. The dishes. This is this is like the main armory, and they had a bunch of crew cabins over here and stuff like that. There's some of the crew slaps, guns. All right, someone's over there. So here's more cabinets and stuff where the crew slept. There's a little pulse press. All that over there. So here's the movie locker. So basically if the crew wanted to watch any movies, this is where the movie where they would get the movies from. And here is the executive office. I believe this is it. Yeah, I believe this is the executive office, which I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. But whatever. And this was the medicine office. This is where all the medicine, where, where all the crew would get their prescriptions and stuff like that. So yeah. And this right here, go ahead and go right here. This is the auxiliary combat information center. So this would be like where all the radar and stuff they would get all the equipment and stuff like that from. 
This is the dispensary and medical office. So basically, the beds there, like for the I guess medical crew or whatever like that. And here is the barber shop. Uh, here is the operating room. So this is like where all the soldiers were. They got injured, or like they became really sick. This is where they operated them. At. So yeah. So people were operated on in here. And then here, this is like where all they kept all the gas equipment, all that kind of stuff in there. So and then here is like what I said, the barber shop. This is where the men would get their haircut and all that stuff. So I'll go ahead. Actually, I'll come back over here. So this in here is a sick bay. This is where all the sick crew members would be at. So if they got sick or anything like that, this is where they would be. So you can see they listen to music or whatever. Dark shows or whatever. And then there's that little toilet right there because of the crease. They really, the, the guys in here didn't have a toilet or anything. There's a medical helmet and all that. So this was... This is this was interesting or whatever, but this is uh, called that that room. But yeah, you can do all that. I don't know. This is the isolation where this is where like where the really really sick people were at. So they got some beds right here. And then the toilet. This is like where the absolute sick people were at. This is the isolation ward. Especially y'all probably know what isolation ward is. Where crew birth, births, and all that kind of stuff. This is where some of the crew members could crew members could eat and all that. Some stuff over here. And then here's the ammunition. More, more ammo. This is like where all the you know like the 40 millimeters. This is like what all those were in the 20 millimeter ones. This is like where they kept all the ammunition at, and they were some pretty big. Bullets. And this is the crew washroom. So basically, this is where the crew uh, basically used the restroom. They took a bath and they, yeah, you know. And there was no privacy either. So they had like 30 seconds to wash, for instance, soap, I believe, or what, something, something like that. They had a limited amount of time. And, like, they couldn't spend like five, ten minutes in there. It was so that way they could conserve water. I mean, water, fresh water was pretty limited. And as you can see, there's no doors whatsoever on the ship. So guess what? There's no privacy. And it was wood, so you better hope you don't get splinters. Because <laughs> that would not be too good. If you got splinters, because this wood has the seats. So yeah, this is, this is where they... All right, so I'm going back over here, going back to the other side. To look at the other side, and here's here's actually some water fountains right here. These are throughout the ship, and they gave fresh water, so if the, any of the guys needed to drink, that's where they got it from. They can hear more music playing. So coming back over here, this is pretty much really the only part we can go. I thought there was other decks down here, but we couldn't go down. So this is, I believe, the soda pop or the fountain room, a snack room. Basically, what, what they did in here, the crew could get like Coca-Cola, drinks, snacks, like Pringles and all that kind of stuff. So basically, here's a little soda fountain machine and all that. So this is pretty cool. This is probably the crew's favorite room to go. And the second, the soda fountain, that's what it's called, also known as the good dunk. So, you could call it a good dunk. So this is also, this is a canteen. A canteen, you think, is like a little thing you use to drink from. The canteen actually was where they, the crew got like, this is basically like the little general store for the crew. They could get magazines, they could smoke here, they could get gum, snacks, everything that they like need. Pretty much this place had everything. You could get medicine, you could get nail clippers, you could get, you could get a lot of stuff from here. You could get clocks. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. See all this stuff in there. There's a lot in here. 
I believe there's no, you can go down there. They're repairing over there, which is unfortunate that they're repairing so much. But here is the tailor shop, and it's very loud because of the AC. But this is the, where they where all the uniforms, where they came to iron and all that other kind of stuff. It's pretty loud in here. There's some more crew bunks. This is a mail shop. Actually, this is where all the mail, the mail from. This thing is so freaking loud. It's so freaking loud. God dang it, it's so loud. This is the dental office. So this is basically, if you need to go to the dentist, this is where you can. That's what the dentist's office looked like. There's more crew beds. And we can't go back there for some reason. Yeah, we can't go back there. And there's nothing else back over here. So that might be it downstairs. It's so loud up here. I can barely hear myself think. God dang it. It's so loud. <laughs> Alex didn't have to deal with that back then in the day. Because they didn't have no AC back in the day. So I think that might be it for Battleship Texas. I don't think there's anything else. I can go check. But yeah, we actually used to be able to go down there. That used to be like the... That's the engine room down there and all that other kind of stuff. So yeah, I think that might be it for Battleship Texas that I could go on a tour today. I think there was nothing else really. There might be something now over there. Hold on, let me go see. I don't think there is, but you never know. No, there's nothing else. There's another water fountain right there though. See here with the radio playing. And that's what, that's what, that's what was like the, the trend back in the day. That's what, that was the trend, the music they would listen to. So, I like it. I can listen to it all day. I like old music. So, that's pretty much it of the tour that it could go on, unfortunately. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. I was a little late. No, this is a little bit more up here. Hold on, I forgot. It was a little bit more now. Alright, so I'm back up on the deck. This is the cruise galley, so this is, yeah, this is the second galley that they could go on. Actually, I didn't go up here yet. Hold on, let me go up here. For some reason I missed this. No, this was the same place. Never mind, I thought this was a different place. But right here, they actually kept like some supplies and stuff like that, like in case the ship ever did unfortunately sink. That's where they would keep it. Alright, so in here they have a little video going on. And this right here was the thing that hit. Um, this actually right here. It's the same thing that was sticking in this photo right here. This right here was hit was, um, what do you call it? By the German ship. They actually, it, uh, sorry, I don't know how to say it, but the Texas basically did get hit by the German. The Germans, the ship got blown. It didn't get totally blown apart, but um, they hit right above the bridge. It killed one person and injured 12 other people. And here's another navigation thing right here. They took the compass off though, but and there's a little video playing. So this in here is the Admiral's pantry. This is like where the Admiral had all his nice food and stuff like that. This is like luxury. If you're the Admiral, you're like the most, you have the luxurious. Here, here, look. You have luxury. So yeah, basically the the second deck was the only thing that could go on. There, the third deck before in 2014, the last time I was here, you could go on it. But however, that changed and you couldn't go on it, go underneath it anymore. So that's unfortunate. But I think that might be it. That'll be my video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.